Cooper's been here a long time. Probably feel he's entitled to take a day for himself now and then. That's what I've been trying to tell Mr. Lane. Oh, by the way, Miss Starlin, how is Mr. Zinthrop? Oh, fine. In a few days, we'll uh, start the layouts for the campaign. Oh, I'm ready when you are, boss. Look this over. Hey, Bill. Huh? Don't go getting any ideas about the boss. Well, me? Don't be silly. I just wanted to know that I'm an eager member of the team. Still, she is looking a lot younger these days, isn't she? You think Zinthrop would give you any of those treatments? You know, break the watch or something? Losing 10, 20, 50, even 100 pounds with a new doctor recommended Megalos 1000 Miracle Diet Pill Program for only $9.95. With Megalos 1000 or 3000 programs, you'll burn more body fat relaxing in the sun than exercising 10 hours or swimming six miles nonstop. Faye Diamond lost an astonishing 15 pounds in only two and a half weeks, rapidly dropping from a size 8 to a size 4. I'm not embarrassed to wear a bikini anymore. Toronto's Debbie Holloway easily lost 53 pounds, trimming from a size 16 to a size 7. H.A. Jr. lost an awesome 75 pounds in only 10 weeks, carving 10 inches from his waist. Sherry Kopek rapidly lost 38 pounds with this new Miracle Diet Pill program. E.J. Alkire lost 100 pounds, slashing 60 inches from her figure. While under her doctor's care, Mrs. Mekasing lost an atypical 9 pounds in 2 days. 13 pounds in three days, 28 pounds in one week, and an astonishing 32 pounds in only nine days. Now you can check excess fat by calling 1-800-334-9100 for the new Megalos 1000 Miracle Diet Pill Program for only $9.95. We accept all personal check and credit card orders by phone. Call 1-800-334-9100 now to order your 21-day supply for only $9.95. Call right now and receive this luxurious designer bracelet absolutely free. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. Remember, all personal checks and credit card orders accepted by phone. That's 1-800-334-9100. Special values for you and your family at My Stells. Men's 12 flax, $40 sellers, $14.50. Poly cotton pocket t-shirts, $3. Ladies' famous maker denim shirts and shorts, priced for a sellout. No frills, no fancy fixtures. My Stells, 1222 South Wabash, serving smart shoppers just like you for over 67 years. My Stells open daily and Sundays, closed Saturday. Her predictions are amazing. Tens of thousands of people have asked for her advice. I'll tell you things you never even dreamed of. Aline Cunningham's famous horoscopes are on the phone now. Find out about yourself now from the psychic advisor to the stars. Will your wishes and dreams come true? Are you destined for something special? Call now. You'll be amazed at Aline Cunningham's incredible horoscopes. 95 cents a minute. Mr. Green, that personnel is his responsibility. 
have other things to think about than worrying whether the night watchman walked off the job. Well, that's just it, Miss Starlin. Mr. Green feels that the watchman never left the building. His lunch pail and his raincoat are still in the basement. I don't want to hear anything more about it, Mary. All right, Miss Starlin. We'll use these. Where she heard a scream from one of the other floors. Zinthor heard it too, but she convinced him he was having a bad dream. Oh, maybe they both were. That's not funny anymore, Mary. There's something going on in that building. Now I'm going to find out what it is. How? Have a look around Cooper's lab for one thing. After that, I, I don't know. Hold it steady. Oh, this is crazy. We can really get in trouble. I won't tire him, Miss Warren, but it is important. All right, Miss Darlin, I'll be in my room. Sintra. Sintra, you've got to help me. Something's happening. Something's happening to me. I can't control it. There's something I must remember, but I, I can't. Try to think. The wasp enzymes. The extracts you, you were experimenting with before the accident. Try to think. <laughs> well, this is Zenthrop's notebook, Mary. Notes on his experiments with Jan. Well, how did Cooper get hold of it? I don't know. Only Coop would show up. Mary, look. Mr. Cooper's pipe. Well, don't you get it? He's going to go out without his pants and leave that pipe behind. He's still somewhere in the building. I bet a year's salary on it. If he is. He's dead. And the night watchman. There's only enough left for one more injection. One more. You've got to make more than them. Help me, Sintra. Please, my head. my head. help me! I don't know. No, don't touch him. If anybody knows what's behind all this, it's him. Bill. and everything else is still in there. She wouldn't go out without her purse. Bill, let's get out of here. I don't like it. I can't. I can't. I must warn her. Mrs. Indra. Who? Who are you? Well, there's nothing to be alarmed about, Mr. Indra. I'm Bill Lane, and this is Miss Dennison, Miss Starlin's secretary. Miss Starlin? The cat? What about a cat? Must warn her. Injections. 
Must not take any more injections. Is Miss Darlin in danger? Terrible danger. I'm, I must... Take it easy, Mr. Uh, Centrop. You're still pretty weak. Mary, see if you can get Jan on the phone. All right. All right. This isn't the start of another Chicago winter. It isn't a new defensive strategy for the Bears. And it's not another controversial exhibit at the Art Institute. It's something much more shocking. It's good news from the Illinois Cancer Council. News that could save your life. The fact is, many cancers are preventable. So call the Cancer Information Service to discuss your questions and concerns. It could be the brightest news in Chicago since the lights went on at Wrigley. Today's fashion-conscious public is turning prescription eyewear into the hottest fashion accessory, making the optical business a lucrative career. Right now, the National Education Center is offering a program to train you as an optician. You'll learn how to fill prescriptions for glasses and contact lenses, help patients select sizes, shapes, and colors of frames, from the preppiest look to the funkiest fads. Find out about career training as an optician. Call 1-800-722-7337. 1-800-722-7337. Important message for homeowners. If you need quick cash for any purpose, Carnegie Mortgage Bankers at 661-0800 can arrange a low-cost home equity loan for any amount, from $5,000 to $100,000 and more. For a limited time only, no application fee, and you'll receive a free evaluation. Call now to qualify. Talk to a loan officer at 661-0800. No cost, no obligation. Call Carnegie, 661-0800. How can you stop a throbbing toothache? Massage your hand with ice. How do you cure poison ivy? Try oatmeal. How do you quiet a colicky baby? Run the vacuum. How do I know these cures really work? Because my staff and I spent months interviewing over 500 doctors and health professionals to bring you this incredible book, The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies from the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Books. I'm Bill Gottlieb, Editor-in-Chief. And after writing about health for over 14 years, I can assure you there has never been a more complete and practical encyclopedia of home healing techniques than the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. Over 670 pages, 2,300 remedies, the wisdom and experience of over 500 top U.S. doctors and health experts covering over 130 different health problems. You'll learn how a steaming cup of coffee can stop an asthma attack. How plain yogurt soothes a sunburn. From controlling diabetes to ending diaper rash, you'll find it all in the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. Call now for the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. Try it absolutely free for 21 days. That's three full weeks to read and use this home encyclopedia of health and healing absolutely free. Then if you choose to keep it, we'll bill you in three easy installments of only $8.98. And as a free gift, You'll also get this Meals That Heal cookbook, over 50 pages of recipes and recommendations on the foods and dishes that can help make you well and keep you healthy. Remember, you can try the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies free for 21 days, and the free Meals That Heal cookbook is yours to keep. So call now. In the meantime, use your blow dryer to soothe an earache. Try rubbing aspirin on a bee sting to stop grinding your teeth. Call 1-800-825-2600. 1-800-825-2600. There's no answer. Oh, Miss Darlin? Is that you, Mary? Where are you? We're in the building. We're in Mr. Zentrop's room. Something's happened down here. Let me talk to her. Hello, Miss Darlin. This is Lane. Why are you and Mary still in the building? Oh, I'm a shelf. I'm a shelf. Oh, I'm a shelf. I must not I hold me now, Miss Darling. I must. I must go. Hold on to it. I must help. Oh, you must not hold me back. I'm. Don't worry, Mr. Zentrick. We won't let anything happen to Miss Darling. Mm. Hello. Hello, Miss Darling. What's going on down there? Stay in your office. I'll be right up. Hello, Miss Keep an eye on Zinthrop, honey. I'm going upstairs. Oh, no. The insect. The insect. Take it easy, Mr. Zinthrop. You do not understand. Miss Darling, she's in danger. I, I must warn her. Look, I'll have to I'll stay must... here. You go for Jan. Okay. When you get up there, call the police. You can't get outside on this phone. All right. All right. I'll hurry. Zinthrop, please. 
Hold on, let's put it here. Now, you just relax and take it easy. Everything will be all right. We'll take care of those you whatever you You do not understand. Is. You do not understand that girl. You shouldn't have sent her upstairs. She's in danger. You must stop her before it is too late. Okay, as soon as the cops get here, we'll oh, take Oh, you fool, you fool. Miss Starling will kill her and tear her body to shreds. Miss Starling kill Mary? Miss Starling is not a human being any longer. The enzymes have changed her. She will destroy the girl as a female wasp would destroy her enemies and then devour the remains. Then Bill found Mr. Zinthrop's notebook in Cooper's desk. Well, oh, there's no mistake. We've got to call the police now. Now, Mary, you're just getting a little excited. Now, who could possibly want to hurt Mr. Cooper? I don't know. It's not only Mr. Cooper. What about...
We hope you've enjoyed this morning's feature, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow morning at 10.30 when, thrown off course, a spaceship crashes on an unknown planet and its crew falls victim to the queen of outer space. Tomorrow morning at 10.30, right here on 66. You know, Joe and Margaret are back from New Orleans. What were they doing there? They go there every year to celebrate their birthday with their nieces. Oh, yeah. That's Carol's kids, right? Yeah. Mama, do I have to eat this? I'm too full. You mean you don't want dessert? I didn't say that, Mama. Can I have dessert? Wait a minute, David. I don't know how you can eat dessert if you can't finish your dinner. Oh, let the boy have it, Mary. There may come a time in his life when he can't have dessert. Let him eat it now. I, I think we should all pass up dessert. You're not good for us anyway. Now, Leroy, you shouldn't say that. There's no harm in eating a little sweet. Oh, oh yeah? How do you think you got sugar diabetes? Well, definitely not sweet. Well, my doctor said... Just what did your doctor say, Mama? <laughs> did Granddad have diabetes? No. I think he probably did. You know, Daddy did lose his sight. And then he complained a lot about his legs and feet hurting him. No, I think he probably did. If eating sugar doesn't cause diabetes, then what does? You know, I really don't know. But I know it's passed from parent to child, and something happens, and then the body can't uh, handle the sugar. Does that mean I'm going to be a diabetic? <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, not necessarily. But since I am a diabetic, and it is in our family, and as you get older, maybe around 40 or so, it might show up. Or if you're overweight, don't forget, we are black. But, you know, I didn't think I would get it. Well, I was as slim as David until... Until what, Mama? Well, I guess it must have been about 10 years ago when I put on that weight and I couldn't get it off no matter what I did. That was about the time you quit working and had a love affair with the refrigerator. <laughs> 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 and then all of a sudden it started coming off by itself. Well, life was different when I stopped working. How did you know something was wrong, Grandma? James, help me finish packing, please. What's the matter? You've always done it before. Look, I know you've looked forward to this trip, and we really could use some time away. But you look rough, baby. Maybe we should wait until you're feeling better. Look, I just asked you to put a few pieces of clothes in the suitcase, and now you're ready to cancel the trip. Forget you. I'm packing, and I'm going. Forget you. And that's another thing. How can you go on a trip when you keep running to the bathroom every 10 minutes? You're right. I just can't seem to get enough to drink. And this stupid itch is getting on my last nerve. Okay, that's it. We're not going anywhere until you see a doctor. That's what it's going to take. Mrs. Washington, you can take your trip, but we have to take care of your diabetes first. I knew you were going to say that. Why did this have to happen to me? You had all the signs, weight loss, frequent urination, weakness, and an infection that didn't get any better. Oh my God. Plus, you have almost all the high risk factors. You're overweight in spite of your weight loss and over 40. And just the fact that you are a black female puts you at a high risk. 
Besides, you told me that your father might have had diabetes. Am I going to be all right? What am I going to do? What we need to do is put you on a diet that is low in fat and sugar. And if you agree to exercise, we may be able to take care of it without medication. The other thing you'll need to do before you leave is to learn to measure your sugar level yourself. Once you know how to do that, much of the care you will need, you will be able to figure out yourself. You're going to be all right. Oh, one final thing. Mary should begin yearly diabetic screening tests by the time she reaches 40, even if she doesn't show any symptoms. But you're going to be all right. sugar at home myself. I eat most foods, but I watch the amount, and I walk a lot so that I can keep up with this man. But I'm out of enough to sure you're okay. Well, I told you. I test myself. David, honey, would you get Grandma's purse, please? And then you can get our coats. <laughs> now, this is an ABGM monitor. Mm -hmm. With this, I can... See, with this little drop of blood, this tells me what my sugar level mm -hmm. is. And now I know what to do. Well, can you check Leroy and me? Sure I can. But I want you and Leroy both to go to a doctor and have a diabetes test. It doesn't cost much. Mm -hmm. And because of our family history, and you are both black, you need to be checked at least once a year. Mama. Yeah? Now, where are you and Daddy going? A small dinner party with friends. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to tell us we have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes is one of the top five causes of death or disability among African American adults. Recent studies have suggested diabetes now occurs more frequently among African-American men and women age 40 and over, as compared to white Americans of the same age. Diabetes, a condition that travels through families, causes our bodies not to be able to get energy from food consisting of sugar. As such, our bodies become unable to perform their functions, such as recover from infection, healing of wounds, or maintaining our strength. There is no cure for diabetes, but early discovery can help you to avoid blindness, amputation, kidney failure, or death. Over half of those who have diabetes may not know they have it. You can avoid it. Check it out. Take a diabetic screening test now. You're watching WGBO-TV, Joliet, Chicago. Someone is guaranteed to win $100,000. From Television City in Hollywood, this is the $100,000 Pyramid. Today, our special guests are, from 30-something, Mel Harris and Earl Holliman. And now, here is your host, John Davidson. Thank you very much, and welcome to the $100,000 Pyramid. We are back, as you can see, and we're glad that you're back with us. As always, the object of this game is to get to the winner's circle. If you win the first game, you'll be trying for $10,000. If you win both games, you'll be trying for a total of $25,000. And if you're one of the three players who gets all the way to the top of that pyramid in the least amount of time, you'll return in a few weeks to try for $100,000. Mel Harris is yes. back.